Hi friends, this is Shivani here. Welcome to my channel Shivani Creations. Today I am showing you how to make this beautiful handmade name plate. This is made using Shilpkar clay. This clay is air dry clay. So I will show you how to make letters, background and some clay elements. So let's start with procedure. For this we need some ceramic powder. Shilpkar clay. We need total 3 pack of Shilpkar. Some acrylic colors and white acrylic color. Any designer stencil. One piece of decorative plywood. Or you can also use mount board. Two number round brush. 16 number flat brush. Liquid glue, paper cutter and palette knife. First, I will show you how to make letters. So, I have already written these letters. The height is approx 6 cm and width is 15 cm. And I am adding one transparent poly bag on top of this on which I will write the letters. So, first I am securing this transparent polythene from all four corners so that it will be steady. Now I am taking the Shilpkar clay. This pack contains the hardener and the resin. So we need to mix both the parts in equal quantity. So I am taking little hardener and little resin in equal quantity. Now apply some talcum powder on your hand and then mix this dough very well until it gets white color now the clay is ready so i'm taking little part of the clay roll it on your palm and start adding on the letters so just follow the pencil lines push the clay using your thumb in the same way I will write the whole name like this I am applying some water using my brush to make it smooth We can cut the excess clay using paper cutter or you can use any knife. So continue this process. So all letters are done. Now let it completely dry at least for one day. Now I am taking this piece of plywood, the thickness is approx 12 mm and this measures 26 cm by 32 cm and I have added two hangings on back side. If you don't have plywood you can also use waste cardboard or waste mount board but you have to make it little thick by adding some layers. Now I am applying some texture on the background. So I'm using my stencil. I have created this mixture using ceramic powder, little glue and water. So I'm just applying this paste on top of this stencil using my palette knife. You can buy these stencils from any craft store. If you don't have stencils, you can also create the texture using your fingers or comb. 
so it's done now let it completely dry for 2 3 hours now i'm taking some part of the clay add little talcum powder and just make a disc by rolling this now i'm making feather part so i'm applying this in the corner draw the inside part of the feather using pen cut excess clay around this so it's done now i'm adding some more inner parts then i am adding the center line of the feather after that i am making hairs of the feather so i will make hairs on both the sides of the feather So I have added the hairs on both the sides. Now I am making some small balls like this and applying around the center part. Now I am taking the pen and using the back side of the pen i am making some impressions on these balls so after adding all the balls it will look like this now i am making one teardrop shape like this take your paper knife and make a slit like this so you'll get this shape i'm adding this shape on this line so continue this till the end i have also added one flute using the same clay and created some texture on the flute using back side of the pen and some flowers with the same teardrop shape and some circles in the center of the flower so it's on you how you want to decorate this now let it completely dry for one day i have also added one small peacock because i thought this place is little empty so wanted to fill this gap by adding some designs now i will first paint this whole area or whole name plate using white acrylic color for the base color so i'm applying this white acrylic using my flat brush since acrylics are waterproof so it will be good if you use acrylics or you can also use oil paints so the base is ready now i am taking this light yellow color by mixing yellow and white color so i am applying this yellow color on whole name plate So it's done and it's dry also. I have added dark yellow on border also. Now 
I am coloring the feather first. So I am using all shades of blues, greens and yellows and colored the feather. So just enjoy the music and watch this coloring part. At the end, I am coloring the flowers. So all coloring is done. I have colored the peacock also using the same blue colors and added this clay chain. Now I will color the surname. So I am using three shades of blues. Turquoise blue, medium blue and dark blue. So complete this. In the same way I will color all other letters. So after coloring I have created some texture coloring using light green color and added the surname and the plot number in the same way. So the name plate is ready. My project is done for today. Hope you enjoyed my video. Please subscribe my channel for more interesting videos and don't forget to click on bell icon for the latest updates. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye.